Hi guys, you're watching The Review, where we discuss everything from pop culture to politics and even hot topics. I'm your host, Mr. Ty Couturier. I am Monique Renee. And on today's show, we're actually doing a emergency hot topics review because we brought the story to you first in reference to Yousef Mack, the Philly boxer who claimed that he was drugged into doing gay porn. So we have an amazing exclusive news interview from Philadelphia's Fox 29 News, my guy. <laughs> let's get right into the clip. Yes, come on, let's watch. I'm gay. Okay, I'm tired of holding it in there. You know, it is what it is. I live my life. I'm gay. Now, how long have you known? Uh, you? About, a, about, a, about eight years. The whole story concocted of you were drugged. Um, that, that story... It was all a lie. It was all a lie. All a lie. Okay. Just try to cover myself up, you know. How many tapes have you done? Just one. Okay, now, this is the only tape that came out? Yes. There was only... Yes. So you do remember everything yes. that happened. Walk us through that, I guess, that whole ordeal. You know, I went there, you know. I mean, I just didn't know when it was going to come out. When it came out, you know, it was out, and I couldn't, I couldn't hide it no more. I was down and out. I asked friends. They wouldn't help me, so I did what I had to do. Take us to the moment when you found out that the tape was out, that you actually saw the tape. Um, what, what, was, what was that feeling like? I was, I was hurt, like, to myself. And I was like, thinking about my children, how I'm going to explain this to my children. Then, you know, I got with... I called a couple of my friends, said I'm thinking about killing myself. He said nothing. I called the wit. I said, yo, I'm thinking about killing myself. He came right there. He like, I'll be right there. He came and get me. And I've been we've been tight eight since. Working on what we're working on. Wow. So the feeling of one, wanting to kill yourself, that's going away. Going away, yeah. I'm I'm free, I'm happy. Back to the relationship that you were in with your fiance. Yeah. Were, were you living a lie or, you know, with that relationship? Can you, can you uh, talk about that? Uh, yes, I was, you know. We were together five years, five and a half years. She was good to me, you know, I was good to her. But I just, I was a lie. I, lied, I had a lot of lies for her, you know. She just came out and told her the truth, but I'm sorry. If I hurt her, if I hurt her boys, if I hurt my kids, you know, my family, I'm sorry. With that relationship, were you going to go ahead and get married just yeah, for the yeah. sake of covering everything up? No, I, I wanted to marry her. I always wanted to marry her, but you know, to cover it up, to make it, you know, like, so that was all, man, I wanted to get married. Did you in some way do this tape knowing that it was going to get out? No, I didn't. So you didn't think anyone from... I didn't think nobody from Philadelphia would see it. Really? Yes. So you, you, and you did this tape last year? Last year. But you never had to say, hey man, that was some quick money. Let me try to do it again. Nah. You never felt like, man, somebody made no money. Because, dude, you fought. You know why I felt like that? Because the producers that did the movie, they didn't know who I was. Okay. I'm like, if they don't know who I am, I know nobody else is going to see it. And I wasn't worrying about it at the time. What was the toughest conversation with in the last two weeks since this tape has come out? With my oldest daughter. And what, what was that like? Kill yourself. That's what she said to yeah. you? How old is she? 23. So she told you to, to kill yourself? Kill yourself. You embarrassed us. And, and how did that make you feel? I just threw the phone down and started crying. I didn't have any words, nothing to say. What could I say? Wow. Who are you talking to like that? Because she got feelings. I'm a dad. She's like, you embarrassed us. Like, and all I could say was, you right, I know, through the phone now. If she's watching this right now, what, what's your message for her? To all my kids, I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm still be your father, regardless of what I, who I am or what I am. Some last words that you want to tell to everybody out there that called you a liar, that said, oh, he's this, he's that. The truth is out, and I'm sorry. You gonna like me or love me, regardless, I'm still me. Gotcha. And when you see me on the streets, I'm still Yusuf Mac, I'm still Catter. Whatever y'all want, I'm me. Wow. So, um, at this point, I really feel bad, you know, yeah. for, for Yousef. Um, I feel bad and I feel sorry for him because regardless of what choices we make as adults and as parents, yeah. you never want to um, disappoint want to your children. children. So, for the feelings, you know, is what his daughter said right. to him, you know, in reference to saying that uh, he, he, should kill his, he should kill himself. 
He um, said he slammed the phone down, so I guess he was really, really hurt. And I guess he wasn't expecting because some children are accepting, but yeah, she was probably more hurt because of the lie. Yeah, the lie of it being such yeah. it being such a shock. And then you're going back and forth between all these different lies, and she don't know what to believe. So she has a yeah. string of emotions going from that point. You know, when the video actually came out. Well, exactly. I don't even call it a video because it was planned to come out. Exactly. Um, so from that time all the way up until this point, it was probably a lot more going on that we don't even have. That we don't know about, exactly. Um, but with her being, you know, his daughter, we do want to acknowledge that her feelings are, are valid. Right. Now, what she said to her father isn't right, isn't right. cool, but her feelings are valid because she has the right to feel hurt, just as you said, right. you know, as you said. And I want to, I want to encourage you, Yusef, my God, because um, you said some really powerful things in this. We want to congratulate you. Yes. And say that we are proud of you because even though we brought the story and you know said you were lying and so on and so forth, the fact that you were able to stand up as a man and stand in your truth and let the world know publicly, right, you know, you what you did was, you know, you made up a lie to try to protect yourself and your feelings um, because of how being black, gay in America, and, you know, so, we're, we're so judged and it's so taboo. So we understand you know, why you, uh, your first mind was to try to lie and cover it up. Right. But we, like I said, we want to commend you and say that we're proud that, you know, you were able to come stand forward. in your own yes. truth and come forward. And we're just going to keep you guys, you know, the whole family. Yes, because... The whole Mac Attack family, my God. We're going to keep you guys in prayer because, uh, as we said in our previous videos, everyone in this situation needs counseling. Yes, um, definitely. From the, from the the baby's moms to the children. Yeah, she's going to experience a lot too. Yeah. Not even just Not negative. just that, the grandchildren, because there's three grandchildren involved. Oh, Yusef okay. is 35. His oldest daughter, um, who made the comment, he said was 23. Right. And his youngest is three. So it's a lot of people who are who affected, are affected yeah. um, by this. But we don't want to um, be insensitive. Be insensitive to the fact that, you know, Yusef has come forward. And also, in our previous video, when we were talking about um, Yusef's statement, we mentioned that I thought that the Anthony Cherry that was stated right. in the, um, the, news the, news, the news article mm -hmm. was a colleague, you know, a hairstylist colleague of mine, and I contacted Anthony, and he did say that Yusef is his client and he's working with him as far as his, like, crisis PR management. Yeah. Yeah. So when Anthony said that, I said, well, you know, we have reached at this point 200,000 views, but now we're at 300,000 views in that video. So we want to thank you guys so but much. Um, so much. But um, Anthony said it may be a good idea uh, for you to have to come on our show and, and, and speak to you guys. So we want you guys to comment on this video, thumbs up this video, and let us know if you really do want to have us, you know, bring you stuff on, and then we can get him to tell his story. Right, we that can way. Periscope live so they can put comments and things. Yeah, that's definitely. But we want to try to maybe, maybe get Yusef on the show mm -hmm. so that he can share his story because at this point, if he's sincerely owning up to, and this, his... to who he is right. and accepting who he is as a gay man, because at first we were all thinking that he was saying he was bisexual, but in the video, in this clip, you noticed he that he said he was gay. Clear. Yes, he made it very clear when he So was. at this point, he can affect so many people exactly. and hurt so many youth. So if that's his platform now, we definitely want to give you, Yusef, the opportunity, opportunity to come on our show mm -hmm. and share your story. And it's okay to be an athlete and be uh, gay. Exactly. Exactly. Still be masculine. You don't have to be you know, different. Don't call me, you know, cunty and grilly and things in the comments. So you don't, have to, be, you don't, have, to, you don't have to be like me. You can be like you, Seth, and be gay, my guy. It's okay. So um, we just want to thank you guys so for now nice. getting our videos to 300,000 views. It's because of you. Yes, we appreciate the love. As I, as I always say, yes. we appreciate the negative comments and the positive right. comments. Because guess what? Regardless, you you're watch watching it. us. So make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you share this video on Facebook. Share it with your pastors, my God, your evangelists, your ministerial staff, your mom's grandpa's Thanksgiving is coming. Share it then. And I think we've pretty much covered everything. Covered everything. But um, yeah, thumbs up to you, you Yusef, for uh, standing in your truth. Yes, being honest. Mm -hmm. So I am your host. At Mr. Ty Couturier, make sure you follow me on all social media outlets. I'm on Periscope, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. <laughs> I'm everywhere, my God. Find me, follow me. I am Monique Renee. You can follow me on all social media outlets. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>